Hey guys, so I told you that I was going to be running through the Shorehold PvP Battleground. Uh, the new one that just came out with the update that we talked about. Uh, I believe it was yesterday. I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading this, but... Um, I soon realized though that this is not the same as the old PvP Battlegrounds. As you can see right there, you entered this PvP Battleground with your gear that you are currently wearing. So, obviously, me being in only, I believe that's Twist Shard gear, and the person that I was inspecting being in Stormcry gear, and then some of the other ones being in the new PvP gear, um, yeah, this is actually a lot harder for people who don't have all of their gear, and are not prepared for this type of PvPing. So normally, when you would go into a PvP battleground, um, you would actually be in equalized gear and everybody would be in the same exact type of gear. So it would kind of be just skill versus skill. Um, but since they have added this new update, you can now go into PvP battlegrounds like they used to be with just the gear that you have on currently. So I wanted to show you guys basically the the wrong thing to do and what absolutely not to do and how to epically fail at the Shorehold PvP Battleground um, because I tried this out for the very first time. This was my very, very first time entering into this PvP uh, Battleground and it was an epic fail of all proportions. I actually played a couple rounds yesterday and did not win any of them. And as you can totally see, I am absolutely a loser at PvPing, and I have no idea what I'm doing whatsoever. I already said that I did not like to PvP, and it wasn't some of my favorite things to do in the game, but I wanted to try it out just to say that I did it, and to show you guys what the new Battleground area is all about. So basically, the whole point of this thing, being a PvP Battleground, you'd think the whole point of this battleground is to pvp people but it's not it's actually to capture the pyres and get the most points because once you reach 5,000 points your team is declared the winner so that is the basics and that is actually what you do so obviously your team has to be really good at both pvp and just occupying spaces and keeping pyres and all that fun stuff and pretty good at communication but as it turns out um we don't listen to anyone in the chat on our team and we just do whatever the heck we want which is the complete opposite of what you're supposed to do so obviously i am in it for the losing i guess because our team is definitely not going to win um but after a certain period of time, there will be boss monsters that will spawn, these big bams, um, and you can go up there and fight those to earn yourself a few extra points, which could get you in the lead, or just give you that extra edge if you are needing it and falling behind in points. Um, but as it turns out, this team, we clearly didn't know what we were doing, so all we were trying to do was capture each pyre. Um, so we could get more points because the team with the most pyres has the most points and then obviously will win the battleground. Um, so like I said, yes, you will enter this with your own gear. Um, I don't know if they're going to do an update for this later on where you can enter it without having your own gear because I know that with this new update, Corsair Stronghold is now two separate ones, I believe. Or is it the other one? I don't know. I know that there's a lot of different battlegrounds now. Now you can enter them with your own gear or you can enter them with a gear that they give to you. So I'm definitely going to be doing the gear that they give to you because I'm obviously not a person who does PvPing so the only fun part about it for me was the fact that everybody had the same equalized gear so we all kind of had a chance and an opportunity to at least do something and not get totally destroyed but since they've added this new pvp gear into the game you can basically use your belcarium credits to buy that gear and you can enchant it or whatever you want to do and it's obviously better than any type of pve gear that of course i happen to have right now and that i'm wearing currently um so this is going to actually 
replace Freywind Canyon. Uh, there is no more Freywind Canyon in the battleground selection screen as of right now. I believe there isn't. I didn't look through all the way. I did see that gridiron now is two. There will be a gridiron that you can enter with your own gear and then there will be a gridiron that you can enter with personalized gear that they give you. So either way um, you can do whichever one you like. I personally would probably do the one that has the gear um, already given to you. I think that one would be the better one in my opinion. Um, but you can do whatever you feel like now because they've decided to add both of them into the game. So you can now do your own gear or you can do gear that they give to you and have everybody be the same gear set. So if that's what you like then that's what you can obviously do. Um, and so like I said Freywind Canyon is not going to be here, I think, as of right now. They might change it up a little bit later, but for now, this is basically the same thing as Freywind Canyon, if you are familiar with it. This is the same thing, it's just a different layout and a different type of um, area that you can battle in. Before, it was in a like desert area, and now we are in a beach area. So that's the only thing really different about it. The pyres are all still the same. They're just in a different position, in a different area. And the monster bam spawns or whatever are um, in a different area as well. But other than that, it's pretty much all the same as Freywood Canyon was. And I think it was just a big thing that they wanted to do to change things up a bit. Because it was kind of getting, I guess, a little bit monotonous and boring doing the same exact area over and over and over again. Um, so people weren't queuing as much and so they decided to do smaller teams as well. So as you can see we only have, let's see, three, five, seven people on our team right now instead of the regular, I think, I don't remember how many was in the Freywind Canyon, but it was more than seven so you had to wait in longer queues to be able to get into the PvP Battleground. Um, but now that they've lowered it down to 7, they say that the queues are actually a lot uh, quicker. So you can get into the dungeons and the- or not the dungeon, the battlegrounds a lot quicker. Uh, so this battle obviously is about finished up here. We've, we've obviously lost by 2,000 points, but I did show you guys here that you can go into this little area when the BAM spawns and you can defeat it for some extra points. Um, and that'll give you some points to help you out a bit. We tried as best as we could to get up to 3,000 points um, as quick as possible before they managed to overtake us. But obviously the red team definitely knew what they were doing and was way, way better than we ever were. And I didn't actually have one team that was good when I played this. So I guess you just gotta get lucky or just have really good gear to be able to win. Um, but yes, that is going to pretty much do it for this little Shorehold tutorial here. If you want to know how not to win Shorehold, then definitely, definitely check out my video because I clearly don't know how to do anything on this new Battleground stuff. But uh, that's going to be it for the Shorehold. And I guess I will just see you guys in the next update and whatever we're doing next. Um, so for now... I will see you later.